Hello, Growth Vegan here, back with another episode of Thrones of Britannia, the Kingdom of Kirkin. We are launching our armies once more. Uh, we're taking General Beck and the Megram Scodgers down here to finish off our initial conquest of these islands to finish up our holdings uh, with D Kel Daltane, which is currently held by Scottish rebels. And so uh, we're going to come down here, hopefully, before somebody else does and uh, take them out and then uh, we'll, we will complete our holdings of this province here. So, um, I also want to start considering who our next enemy will be. Probably it's going to be North and Beer. Um, I think we're friends with them right now. Yes, we are friends with them and they actually have a good uh, uh, a good attitude towards us. Um, I don't know who else to choose. We have lots of people with bad attitudes towards us, including, but not limited to, Ulaid. However, Ulaid has a, uh, oh, I thought they had a, a pact with Strat Cleet, but they do not. They only have one region. Um, they're not at, they're at war with Fingale, which is interesting because they're way down there. And I, ooh, I wonder if I could go ahead and declare war on Ulaid then. I might just do that. I might just do that. But first, we're going to send our boats down and take them out uh, as well. At least the rebels. Maybe I should stop and uh, pick up a couple more troops. I, I don't know. Let's see what we got here. More than enough. Argar's wise. That's good. Dominal is not influential. So he needs more desire. He, he desires more estates. Interesting. Uh, Fingal likes fish, protects his own. These are all good traits, looks like. Except for that um, one where he desires more stuff. I don't like that. Okay, come on down here. Oh, man, that's a lot of turns. Okay, keep on going, though. Might end up stopping in that port. I don't know. Depends. Let's go ahead and recruit, I mean, some upgrade some more troops while we're at it. How are these guys doing? Um, minus six still. Yeesh. Okay. Could go ahead and upgrade that and get some better armor. Uh, trait loss. Respect your elders. <laughs> okay. Mirche and Northam Beer are in a war. All right. This has become our new capital for all intents and purposes. Uh, it's in really good shape. I guess we're going to upgrade our estate. There we go. Um, I'm thinking I'll take one of these armies down south as well. Don't know how to do that without arousing uh, anger here, but if Struck Cleet or North and Beer are going to be my enemies, then um, I might just take them down here to Scon in here. Just let them walk down there, I guess. Um, they're not my enemies yet, but is Struck Cleet, do they have they have a defensive pact with North and Beer? Okay. They're at war with a lot of people. My strength rating is number three now. Can you believe that? After struggling so long, we are finally coming up our own here. We are a force to be reckoned with. However, that could change very quickly. All it would take would be a surprise attack from one of our enemies. Which we don't have any enemies at the moment, but... Infant mortality. Barfund died. Oh no. My girl. My little girl. All right. Um. Wow. Look at all this stuff. Cathedral of Saint Columb. Hmm. That's cool. Uh. Let's see. All kinds of good stuff in this province. Hmm.
The lumber yard gives me better direct income. But this will give me 10% income for my commerce. Hmm. I think we'll go with the, the great round tower though. Yeah. Gives me more fame. Okay. Who leveled up? Gabron did. Awesome. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and max out his scribe here. The best leader in the land. Alright, you guys. Come on down. Keep on traveling. Should I stop and rest up a turn or two? I don't know. I'm afraid these rebels are going to be harder than I think. Okay. Struck Cleet and the Irish Vikings. Alright, these guys are moving down south like I asked them to. Okay. We're going to save up some money. What's this? Clergy appeased. Oh, yeah. My abilities, My abilities are, growing. are growing. Broken. Okay, he's the governor of Sudrir. Metropolitan. Um, wow, cool. That's a great little thing. He needs more bard. He needs more zeal to help appease these guys here in Sudrir. As you can see, it's working. And we got a nurse state, so that's working as well. Ooh, my gosh, that goes up two. That only goes up one. So we're going to increase our church here. Go up to the cathedral. That will really help Sudrir with their with their uh, morale problem here. I'm going to go ahead and pop him in here right quick. Even though it could possibly cost me in the long run. Um, I want to let him heal up. And I also want to consider getting maybe another unit or two. So we got two spears, three swords, uh, two uh, king's blades, and one alban warrior. Three alban axe warriors. Got lots of excellent archers. I'm thinking maybe one or two more spears or maybe another alban warrior. I don't know. Takes 19 additional food for these. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and round it out. One more spear unit. Why not? There we go. Full, full army. I'm going to let them heal up a little bit. And then these guys are going to keep coming south. Not for any particular reason. Other than just to have an army closer to... Not our enemies, but other armies. <laughs> I should say. Borders. Keep our borders secure. And I'll keep one army up here. To protect against Vikings. And I think we're... You know. Fingale is no more. And I think we'll be... Uh, in relatively good shape here. Okay. Who leveled up? UK of the Forest Foragers. Let's get him some more... Quartermaster. I like my guys to be able to move quickly. He eschews agriculture. He desires no agricultural estates. Ardgar. Ardgar, huh? Alright, what do you have? What do you have estate wise? Mm, can I see your estates anywhere? I might have to look in estates. Hmm. Uh, Current settlements held. That's my own, I guess. Uh, he doesn't hold any estates, does he? Okay. Is that the right guy? <laughs> Getting all my names mixed up. He does not have an agricultural estate. Okay, good. Alright, cool. Everybody happy? Yep. Everyone's happy. Blaskana. Let's see what we got here. We can upgrade to a great hall. That would be good. 
Go ahead and do that. Get all my capitals upgraded as we can. Uh, and then we'll start working on our food because we, we need more food. We need a great surplus of food. But keep all our armies. I want to get up to these highest rankings of abundant food. Okay. Garrison quarters. Construction complete. Okay. Sweet. Um, how are we doing? How many turns left? Four turns. Probably not going to wait. Let's keep going south. Let's go down here. Let's see who owns this. I can come back if I need be. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Gales forever. We're going to get there in the winter, of course. That's how it goes with me. I always end up with winter, winter wars. <laughs> Bad planning. Impatience is really what it amounts to. Impatience. Patience is the key in this game. In most games. Especially strategy games. My strength grows All right. Larger. Ooh, he's a provider. Great. Uh-oh. Fingal's demanding. Uh, none shall pass. Let's just drop here and just go in. Can we upgrade any food? This goes up to 74, yeah. Ooh, boy. Of course, the income comes up more by selling them, but... Uh, I'm going to go with a fishing wharf. Yes. Alright, who leveled up? Dubgul, the defenders of the hearth. He needs a wife. Seek a wife. I have insufficient funds. Okay. I'll go ahead and give him another quartermaster, then we'll start focusing on his uh, champions. He's he's all right loyalty wise. He could use a little more loyalty. Hmm. Maybe I should give him a priest. Yeah. Don't want him getting disloyal. How are we doing the rest of the uh, rest of our armies? No, I always click the wrong thing. How are we doing uh, loyalty-wise? Okay. Five, four. There's some fours down there. Okay. Let's look at our records right quick. Our military activity. Provincial activity. Uh, oh, here it is over here. Uh, battles. Total battles fought 74. I fought 54 of those personally. 20 uh, auto resolved. One l naval battle. <laughs> I had 61 out of 71 battles are victorious. That's not horrible. It's not horrible. Okay. Awesome. Okay, we're out of money. It's autumn. Let's come down here and check out. There's another rebel settlement here somewhere. Where is it? Maybe Strotcleet took it over already. I guess they did. I guess they did. All right. Um, uh, bring me their ads. I'd rather attack from land if possible. Especially with this awesome catapult. Oh no, it'll be spring when we actually attack. Watch them have a 20 stack in there. Fully decked out. My reputation Ooh, is growing. Good. Boit is a builder. Indratect is an, is armored. He's also a hoarder. Fingal's keen on fishing. Fingal feels safe. And Carlos is our steer. Uh-oh. Oh, good. His uh, public order goes up. Great. I wasn't sure what that was going to mean. Oh, we got two guys leveled up. Beck leveled up. Awesome. Beck, you are the man, my friend. I just, I really like you. 50, he's got a gammy arm. <laughs> 
looks a bit nasty, but it doesn't really stop me getting on. That's hilarious. Okay. Um, does he have any bad stuff? No, he's all good. Yeah, he's the ruthless. Um, but that helps him as a general. We could get him some more quartermaster or some more champion. Also, Fingal the governor here. Um, he's the one that eschews agriculture. Fingal, the governor of Iowa. Hmm, eschews agriculture. Let's get a little more bard, get his public order up. They're, they're barely hanging on there. Let's look at Fingal now that I know what, who I'm looking at here. Fingal, Fingal, Fingal does not have an agricultural thing. That's good. Uh oh. Consuming more food? What happened? Did I level something up that. that uh, hurts my food production? Ten turns for that, my god. Um. I don't want a food shortage. These guys are unhappy. These guys are still unhappy as well. What happened? I thought they were happy. Um, hmm. I could merge a couple units over here. My warriors are unparalleled. That didn't. That didn't do it. Oh, because I still have this unit. There we go. At least we have neutral food. Still minus two public order. That's part of the food problem. I mean the uh, the problem with our. All right, so this place should have some fishing. Yep. Unfortunately, they have Grand Iron Foundry too, which will hurt our morale, but it can't be helped. We'll take this, and then we'll have uh, a surplus of food again. I'm not super concerned about it. I don't want to get into a bad position. Success brings greater Military power. focus. Ooh. Shield effectiveness. 30%. Great. That's really good. Gain from the Tanner building chain. Huh. That's cool. We are going to occupy it. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So now we own Kel Deltane. I'm sure it hurt. Yeah, minus eight. Yikes. Okay. Carlos of Monda. Uh, how are you looking here? They were unhappy. They're happy now. Carlos, he can do more scribe then. Yep. And then Connell of Afokta. Can do more scribe probably. There we go. Done call Dane. Can we get more food production? Yes. Yes, we can. Very good. Anything unlocked here with trade? Upgrade within the market hall or long port chains. Hmm, the market hall. I don't know if I have a market hall. Um, yeah. All right. We're up to 109 surplus food now. That's great. Okay. How are we looking over here? Minus four still. Do we have any rights that we can do? Uh, decrees. That would help us. Hmm. Guess not. I wish we had one though with public order, like some grand festival or something. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Be useful. I've got 59 out of 60 legitimacy right now. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Ulaid is about to become my enemy. All right. Strakleet and Northumbria are now at war. Whoa, they were friends. What happened? 
Strutcleet and Northumbria are at war. That would be a grand time for me to strike. Uh, however, I'm really thinking about attacking these guys, Ulaid. Um, because Ulaid has no friends, right? They're a vassal kingdom of Mead. Oh, that's unfortunate. Where's Mead at? <laughs> They're allies with Gwyneth, though. Dang. Uh, Gwyneth I'm friends with. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Northumbria and Strotcleet are at war. Strotcleet has 16 territories. Northumbria has 13. I'm friends with both. Um, hmm. I could break my declaration of friendship with Northam Beer. You will get a fair hearing. My All right. people are not... Okay, we no longer have a declaration of friendship with Northam Beer. That means um, they have no allies. They have one vassal, Holderness. They got tons of enemies. I think it's time to declare war on them as well. Can I go from here over to here? Every foe shall fall. No, I cannot. Northam Beer. Can I move this army over here? Oh boy, that's going to take a while. Um, let's go ahead and get these guys leveled up while I can. Oh, I can't now. Too late. <laughs> Too late. Done, Calden. Tithe Hall. I got great morale, so I'm not super worried about it. Get more income. Hmm. Yeah, we'll get more income. Okay. So we're not at war with Northam Beer yet, but we're going to re, re we, uh, strategize our armies here so that we can take advantage. Oh, was that rebels down there or something? Oh, who is that? Well dressed. He's a sharp dressed man. Oh, yeah. Helps his unit's morale. That's funny. Carlos is an imbecile. Well, that sucks. Yeah. And so is Connell. Two imbeciles. <laughs> In one turn. Connell here. The imbecile. Um, let's see. Mm, should I go more food? I think I'm going to need more food in the long run. Market Hall. I need more food in the long run. So we're going to go ahead and go with a farm. Okay. Uh-oh. Look at my loyalties. Oh, because I got that estate finished probably. Alright, so let's look in my estates. And yes we now have four estates so over here we're going to give this away to someone Ardgar is not loyal to Boyt is not loyal I want to give it to somebody who does not have an estate uh, don't Everybody's got one that is so disloyal already. Carlos would have two. Let's give it to somebody that's not first. Not disloyal. Why could I give it to him? Yes. 
that help everybody's loyalty? Yes, it did. Okay. Good. Very good. Okay. These guys keep on marching down here. And alt cleat. Are these rebels? Rebel army. Yes. Is that attackable from the sea? Yeah, we're going after him. We're going after him. Because that would be perfect right there. Avenue to the sea from our... To the south of us here. That, that's awesome. Hopefully Strop Cleat does not get there before we do. They're at war with North and Beer. And so hopefully they can't... Uh oh, they're, they're, they're sliding up. They've got problems. The wars are Viking raids south of Britannia. Good. Okay. Very good. It's got eight stack. Ooh. Setting new course. Keep on going. And. You keep on riding up here. He's not suffering attrition, is he? No. Okay. Forward we go. Let's look at the capital here. Anything we can do to help with our food, supplies, anything like that? Yes, this. Here we go. I have no idea how long we've been recording. <laughs> oh, look at that. I did not expect that. I should have taken that while I could have. Darn. My, My reputation, reputation is growing. growing. Not Benictine. No religious estates. Beck? Easy now, Beck. Beck here does not have religious estates. Good. Alright, um, Eocade of the Forest Foragers, my friend, why don't you go ahead and get a little more Quartermaster? No, you know what? Hold on. Where are you at? You're in Sudrier? They still have minus four. Are you kidding me right now? Um, see if we can get their morale up by upgrading more buildings and um I could give him some public order boost here and local own province I can give him some bard but no I want to give him the champion give him a little champion Sudri is still suffering these guys are still suffering as well I have to be careful of them. They're, they're going to have a rebellion. Maybe I should just pop another general in there right quick. Just for a morale boost. Let's see. A bard. Oh, yes. Dubden. Perfect. That is a perfect general for this. Because he not only will give a zeal bonus, but also his character bonus as well. Alright, so we're going to hang in there. Alright. All ships seaworthy. All yes. Of course, I don't have an army down here anymore. Let's go ahead and bring these guys down. I don't trust that rebel army. You come on down here. Okay, let's see. More income. A lot 20% more income for tradable resources. Lowers my food production. We're going to do it. That sounds awesome. Okay. A couple more turns, guys, and we'll have a battle this episode. Uh, which is what I'm looking for. <clears throat> I'd just like to have one battle this episode. 
Start Gleet, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yes, he's faithful. Look at this. He's a peacekeeper. Nice. Gabron is getting to be quite the talent. Injured tech. He's leveled up. <laughs> he's just a horrible general here. He's temperamental. Barely loyal. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Let's get some more champion. For you, my god. All right. Injured tech. Come on down, buddy. You're going to be taken done all, done at at some point here. So get ready. Uh, over here, we want you to come on down. Let's go in here. We can go ahead and upgrade the capital. Minus 70. Oh, wait. No, let's cancel that. That is minus 75 food supply. That'll put us in the in the reds. I don't want to do that. All right, let's put him there. Let's upgrade these troops while I have the money. Okay. These guys are going to attack these. Oh, yeah. They're just rebels, right? Oh, really? There we go. All right, we're good. Whew, finally. Alt clut. Alt cleat. Alright. We're gonna take these guys on. Oh yeah. We're gonna fight this battle. He's got lots of archers. Eesh. Of course they're just levy archers. But he actually he actually has a decent little army here. They're all levies, but Three units of militia cav. He'll be able to stop my uh, my calf from just wrecking his archers. That's for sure. We'll just have to play it smart. All my guys are seasick, unfortunately. <clears throat> Hopefully that doesn't affect them too negatively. This is the Megram Scodgers. Come on. Beck's getting to be an old man though, so I'm a little worried about it. He's got this pad iron here completely outmatched as far as his own skills go. All right, he's got tons of cav though. Look at that. Four units of cav. I have to be careful with my spears. And then this episode, we will call this episode quits. All right. Weather conditions, fog, rain. Dry, yes. Okay. What we got here? We got our cav and our artillery. Everybody else is on boats, right? <laughs> yeah. He boy. Okay. Naval forces ready. You guys. Starting off here. Spearmen. Starting off there. Casting off. And you boys. Why can't I select everybody here? I guess I can just select them down there. Tile markers. You guys are going to just jump on the land. And then you guys might just try to flank them. Land on these beaches. I'm afraid they're gonna rush. They're gonna rush me. You go out there. Let's see missiles. There we go. Let's see if I can get some catapults shooting here. Okay. Is everybody, all the boats moving? No, these are not. Come on over there. What we got over here? Spearmen, archers, blah, blah, blah. Come 
Come on, guys. Come into range. Archers. We should be able to wreck their morale really easily. Alright. We got our guys coming up. Start moving those guys up. We'll start wrecking these guys. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, here we come. Let's see. Bowman! Start coming on up, Bowman. Uh oh. My catapults are going to be in trouble. Keep firing. Fire on these guys. Wreck them if you can. Kill the beast! Here comes my armies. Swordsman, come on up. Spears, come on up. We got here spears, spears, bows. You go ahead and just smash through those guys, please. Where, where are you going? No, you don't want to rush to them. We're gonna lose those catapults. There's nothing I can do about that. Not anything I can do about that. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get away from those spears. Get out. Get out. Spears, Spears, get out of the, oh my god, oh, I lost that unit, lost that unit, alright, here we go, get ready to fire, man, you're gonna be needed, Beck, get out of there, axe, Get over there. Get out of there. Oh, my catapults. Get in there. Axeman. King's Blades, get in there. Get those guys. You guys go in there and get them. The general's hurt. Get in there. No, back! Oh. No. Can't believe we lost back. Where's my freaking army at? This is a disaster. shoot them you shoot them uh gotta get these off there we go all right yes you guys go back there we're gonna get this destroyed 
There we go. Goes down there. Keep firing. Scout horsemen are shaking. All right. He fired them. He fired them. All right, we got our reinforcements coming up. All right, you guys kill these freaking. Their men are fleeing the field. They're coming back up with their calf. Looks like they got just enough to to do us some harm here. You come in here. Come down there. Okay. Get them. These guys are gonna wreck these guys. You come after the archers. Come down here. You hit them. They should start collapsing now. Unfortunately, my archers are getting wrecked by these freaking cavalry. Get up there. Kill them. Alright. Bowman, shoot them. Sharpshooters, sharpshooters, warriors, come on down. Get them. Okay, we killed their general, although Beck died as well. That's unfortunate. Alright. Can't believe Beck was killed. And we lost our catapults, which suck. And we won. Whew, that was a costly battle. Didn't like that. We lost 422 men. Lost our general as well. And completely lost our catapults. And maybe I lost our <laughs> other unit of cav. I don't know. It's just bad positioning on my part. I should have moved the catapult and the uh, other guys closer to the beach. So they wouldn't be so far away. Oh well. Okay. Yep. Lost those two units. We will occupy. Alright. Mail Mikhail. Or yet another Eocade. Or uh, Mail Snetcha. I think we need Mail Snetcha. Back. Oh, poor Beck. Alright. Alt Cleat here uh, has a beach port and wood. That's good. Um, Beck lost his estate, so now it's back in the hands of Gabron. Um, who needs an estate? Dubgul needs an estate. You can have. Uh, this one. There we go. Now is everybody happy? Yes. Okay. Happy-ish. Brocken, the governor of Sudrier. Need more bard. There we go. Also, what can you upgrade here? That, I'm not super concerned about that. E Gads. Alright, let me keep coming down here. Iowa, you're doing good. Okay. Dunduran, Dunblan. Need something with food. More food. Need more food badly. Okay. 
Let's see, what about up here? Any food upgrades up here? Nope. Not up here. Nope. Okay. Just food decreases. <laughs> about up here. Nope. Okay. Well. Okay. I guess that's going to be about it for this episode then. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, throw me some likes, leave me some comments, and as always, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.